Okay, let's get back to business. We need to animate. I'm gonna hit seven to go into top view. That might make it a little bit easier to see what's going on. So I'm going to grab also this double arrow here and bring the timeline up. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm in object mode and I'm pretty sure I have uh, this vehicle selected. And when you are animating, all you're doing is, I've got 240 frames here. There's 24 frames in a second. So this is 24, wait, yeah, 20, 240 divided by 24 would be 10. So there's 10 seconds in this clip right here. And so I want you to do at least a 10 second. You can add more right here if you want to end it at a higher number. Um, so you can just click on there and fix that. I'm going to make it just 240. There we go. So it's exactly 10 seconds long, but you can make it longer if you want to. So you are going to set a keyframe at one set at the first um, frame. So this one means frame one. This 20 means frame 20. You're not going to sit and set a keyframe for every single one. You're just going to set your major keyframes and then the program's going to fill in the rest. So to set a keyframe, make sure your object selected. Click on the click on the frame that you want to set it to. We want to set it to one and then you hit I and that's going to bring your insert keyframe menu up. You can set the location, the rotation, and the scaling separately or the location and the rotation together. But what I recommend is that you set the location, rotation, and scale, loc, rot, scale all at one time. So I'm going to click here and that just set a keyframe. You can see the little yellow diamond for this position. So if I click on that and I'm going to bring my slider up to 20 seconds and I'm going to hit G to grab my car and X to move it along the X axis about to there. Okay. And then I can also click my other vehicle and I'm going to bring the keyframe back to, to one or I could have brought it to zero, I guess. First frame, first frame, that makes sense. Um, and I'm going to hit Oh, I forgot to hit my keyframe for that one. <laughs> Let's go back to this one. So I've got my first keyframe, but I didn't hit I and insert loc row. So let me slide that forward. Oopsie, grab the street. Oh, that's right. If I want to grab and move that, I have to have the little move tool. There we go. Now I can move that over there. Now hit I, insert loc row scale. Click on there. Now I have my second keyframe for my car. And you can see if I click to go back to the beginning and hit play, whoop, it's driving. Okay, but I want to pause that. All right, so I'm going to bring that keyframe back to one because I'm going to now set my other vehicle. Okay, so I'm going to hit I to insert loc rot scale. And then I'm going to move it down here a little ways. And whoops, bring this over to 20. Sorry. Okay, hit I and loc rot scale. Okay, that's kind of the, to me, the slow way of doing it. There's also automatic auto keying where it'll automatically insert keyframes. So watch this. I'm going to click on that blue button. This is the best. Now, if I move this up to 40 and I slide this, that new location it just dropped at, it automatically set the keyframe. Woohoo! So now I can click on this one and move it, and bam, it automatically set the keyframe. That's so much easier than hitting I every single time. Well, you can tell that we're about to have a collision. This is going to be awesome. So this guy's moving out into the intersection, and he thinks that he has the right of way, but up here in the next couple of seconds, I'll just put it up to 45, 40, yeah, about 45 seconds, five seconds, sorry. Come on, there we go. Um, this one's going to keep going, and this one is also going to keep going and clip it. Then this guy is going to, like, rotate. I'm going to hit R. 
and I don't want to rotate along the Z, so I'm going to hit the R, and then I'm going to hold Shift Z, and then I can rotate it like this, and I can slide it over a little bit like this, and move it back a little like that, and um, grab this one, and I'm going to make it so that it has banged into there, and maybe it has a little bit of rotation as well, so hit R and Shift Z and boom, it's gonna rotate a little like that. Okay, that's awesome. I like that, right? That looks good. So then maybe this car is going to uh, back up. So I'm gonna hit R. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna hit R and Shift Z and I'm gonna rotate it a little bit here not wanting to quite do what I want. There we go. And I'm going to um, hit G, Shift Z. I'm going to back it right up into this building here. Okay, so there's my next keyframe. And then this guy right here will have R, Shift Z, rotated back this way and be heading along over here. And then my building, because I ran into it, is going to start tipping over. So I'm going to do an R, I believe around the Y axis. And mm, I don't like the way that's, I might have to come over here and slide it over. Okay, so then I think that building is starting to tip over. So. <clears throat> oh, I never set the initial keyframe for that building, so that might be a problem. Let's go ahead and go back to the beginning and hit play and see what happens. Okay, so unfortunately, we're going to have to hit Control Z and get rid of that keyframe. Okay, and let's go back to frame one, and let's set the initial keyframe for that building. So I'm going to hit I, insert loc rote scale. And then what keyframe is it? 60, where he backs into the building and then the building starts to tip over. So I'm gonna hit R, rotate that a little bit and slide it over here a little bit. This is gonna be real interesting. And maybe I'm gonna hit R and go like a little bit like that. Okay, that's fun. Let's see how that looks. So let's go back to the beginning and press play. Oh, that's not what we meant to have happen. So we're gonna hit Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Okay, so it's not gonna fall until frame 60 when he hits it. So I need to set a keyframe for that. And now, what was it? 60, 66, okay, now I can start rotating it. Making it look like it's gonna fall. Okay, now let's go back to the beginning. Perfect. Okay, so I can keep on animating from there. All right, obviously at some point I want the building to fall. Um, I might have this car right here um, start um, to kind of, okay, I'm gonna hit escape to get out of that. I'm gonna go seven, go to top view. This, oh yeah, okay, so I just need to do R, Shift Z so that when I rotate it, okay, I'm gonna go like that. And maybe this guy is mad. So he is G, Shift Z, smashing into this truck, right? And this truck in the next little bit here is gonna.
going to be tipping. It's going to be rotating. So it's going to be like rotating around what? I don't know. It's So R, not that way. Maybe that way, but I have to lift it up a little bit. Okay, so there's the keyframe. And this building is probably starting to come down a little more. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Oh, it's looking so good. Okay, so then maybe this guy, he's like, whoa, I see the building is coming down. And so he is able to start backing out of that. So G shift C, he's like, whoa. This one um, continues to rotate okay that looks good but I have to <clears throat> um, this building is falling a little bit more Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh, car's totally getting crushed. Okay, so maybe when about right here, comes all the way down on top of the car. And maybe that car Lips. and flies out luckily this car back here let's say flies up into the air Okay, so let's see, what do we got here? Go back to the beginning. <clears throat> okay, you're getting the idea, right? So, wee, he keeps going up into the sky where he can't see him. And, um, <clears throat> this building finally comes to rest on its side okay and okay so that guy's up in the sky, <clears throat> and then maybe this one starts to rotate which way? Everywhere except X, so shift X, and it's going to start hitting that one. And oops, I didn't hit an initial keyframe. So I'm gonna hit Control Z. First of all, he's got to be at frame one. This one has an insert low growth scale. This one needs an insert low growth scale. This one needs an insert low growth scale. This one needs an insert low growth scale. This one insert low growth scale. Insert low growth scale insert low growth scale okay so then where was i control three for total side view 
Um, let's see. What second was it where it finally goes down? So then this can be an insert, low rote scale, but now it's going to start tipping. So R, Shift, X, boom. And this one is going to be an insert low growth scale until about that time when it's going to start R. It's going to go R and it's going to shift this way. And it's going to hit this building which I'll do insert low growth scale and now it's going to start R shift Y rotating that way and then this one can also be R shift Y keep going that way this one insert low growth scale uh-oh and now move it a little further and I can R start to rotate that one this one is going to be insert low growth scale and then R shift X it's gonna go that way and it hits that one it can go R shift some more this one can go R shift more this one can go <clears throat> R shift that way this one can go R shift down that way some more, but I might have to G grab it and move it because it's acting funny. And you can see I have this awesome, this needs an insert low growth scale. <coughs> an awesome di domino effect happening, right? R. Okay. This one, insert low growth scale, and then it's gonna finally be like R. It's falling. Eva, just a minute, please. And then, <clears throat> the frog in my throat. Oh, we can see that other car that's up in the air. Now I just need to keep moving along my keyframes and have all the buildings pretty much collapse. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward to where I want them all to be collapsed. So I'm gonna go up here. I'll get this one first. R, it's gonna land like that. Okay, and that it just misses that car. This one is gonna go R, and land it's gonna be like that this one might go R and come out a little bit and be over here a lot to think about this one might be able to get that to just go all the way down here Oy. and this one can come down This one is 
So there's that. And then we've got the car that's up in the ceiling. So this, this car just barely missed getting hit. And now I need to pan and find my car in the ceiling, in the sky, I mean, <laughs> and pan up. And then for the 220, I'm going to have that car. I'm going to hit G, grab it, bring it down. Okay. Maybe it's going to land over here on top of this building. That's my goal to get it there. It's not as easy as it seems. There. Okay. Pop your arm and tape it around a little bit. Okay. So there. <clears throat> Bam. Cheesy. I'm going to lift that puppy up. It's going to land there. It's going to bounce up. And it's going to bounce down. And down here, it's going to. end up landing right on top of the other one. Okay, that's the end. All right, you ready to watch? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, so the ending I could have done a lot better. I'm making a video right now, okay? Stop, please.